Paul Tyson. Drew Titan Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Um, ladies and gentlemen, they had an agreement. Okay? They had an agreement. Um, all right. I'm not going to talk about the event as a whole. I'm just going to talk about this fight in particular. Um, I'll come back. Me and Stormy will come back Sunday with a special guest and we'll discuss what we saw in the main event. Um, but this is just my post fight thoughts of the main event. It is what I knew it would be. Um, Jake Paul is literally 30 years younger than Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson will, you know, beat the crap out of the average man in the street. But Jake Paul, you know, he's a boxer. He is. And he has uh, basic fundamentals. And Mike Tyson is also in his late 50s. Something like that. Mid to late 50s. And, um, you know, the upper body movement was there somewhat, but every time he got hit with a stiff jab, he was, uh, his legs didn't look well. Um, he didn't have the spring to, uh, in his legs to, uh, generate offense for a man at his age. He's in great shape. Um, but you know, you got, I mean, come on, if this was 30 year old Mike Tyson versus 27 year old Jake Paul, Jake Paul doesn't make it out the first round. Um, uh, Mike was seeing openings, man. I saw openings. I saw opening. Um, there were openings there that Mike, he just, the body, look, Father Time is undefeated. It's undefeated. Uh, the fight's ending. Um, they're raising Jake Paul's hand as a victor, of course. Uh, they weren't trying to hurt each other. They had an agreement. Um, you know, no one really got out of line. Jake Paul didn't really try and smash the gas on Mike. Because Mike couldn't smash the gas on Jake Paul. Like I said, there's openings there. You heard Roy Jones saying it. I'm sure you're going to hear Andre Ward say it. There was openings there. But Mike Tyson, you know, he looked he looked stiff. The upper body movement was there. His head was not on the line. But the, the, the shots that he did get caught with, you couldn't catch Mike with those shots in his prime, man. Come on. Come on, man. Main event, um, lackluster. But uh, I, I figured as much. Um, I knew Jake Paul would win. Um, I don't know what the betting odds were, but I think the book, if I'm not mistaken, based off of what people were saying, the book was uh, leaning towards Jake Paul, but everyone wanted Mike Tyson to win. And at this level, it's just impossible. You know, Mike, I just, he, I gave him round one. He was fresh, you know, um, he, uh, I'm sure Jake Paul will say, yeah, I felt the power in round one, you know. But it makes you wonder, okay, well, I just got to stay away from that for the rest of the fight. And he did, you know, and it's just wishful thinking, you know, um, what if, you know, what if you uh, turn back the hands of time and, uh, you know, if, if this was 30 years ago, what, you, can you imagine what it felt like? Yeah, you'd be on the floor, dude. But um, I guess uh, Jake Paul is pro fighter. Um, he does a lot of great things for boxing. I'm sure Mike is seeing a damn good payday. I'm assuming this is a uh, for the first boxing event on Netflix. It's a 110% success. Um, the only thing that I'm going to say is that I feel that the uh, the paying customer, if you're going to uh, reel us in with the main event jake you're gonna have to get uh a better opponent now i don't know who that opponent's gonna be but uh the guy can't be a retired fighter you know like my retired legend like mike tyson bro because the flip side to that is there's gonna be guys saying well man you could have got him out of there but like i said i feel he could have but you know 
um they had an agreement man and i ain't mad at that it is what it is um i'm glad mike is okay you know his legs didn't look too good you know it's age man you know mike can stay in shape and everything else but you know he just can't do this anymore and that's cool i'm, I'm glad that he's okay you know i'm glad jake's okay because i want to i want him to continue to do good things in boxing man uh, you know my attitude towards jake paul has completely done a 180. um he loves the sport you might not like how he markets it and how he markets himself but to get in that ring and put your life at risk you know that's uh something to think about you know um so you know you know i respect what he's doing for the sport of boxing i'm not i'm no longer saying that he's trying to rob the bank no because um <laughs> the fighters that we try to support those guys well you know not not myself but you know the guys like tank davis and the shakors of the world you know the guys that are hogging up the limelight not doing anything you're the, you guys are the reason why jake paul exists so jake paul is going to give back to the fighters and put on events because this was a decent event man from the youtube fights to um the netflix fights this was a really good event it could have stopped at Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor at the uh, at the main event, man. It could have stopped right there. This was a pretty good night of boxing, I must say. So I'm not mad at Jake no longer, you know. And I want you guys to think about this. Jake Paul has fought Mike Tyson in the state of Texas, and I know they did crazy numbers. Think a while ago, his brother Logan Paul got a Floyd Mayweather fight. Keith Thurman didn't get a Floyd Mayweather fight. You understand what I'm talking about, y'all? You understand? So now his brother, uh, Jake, has gotten into boxing and look at what he's doing. You guys uh, uh, that claim to be like real fighters, by you holding out and not doing what you're supposed to do, you created guys like Jake Paul. So I'm no longer mad at him. Now I want to see is he going to give me what I want as a consumer? I'm ready to spend my money for quality boxing. I said this a long time ago. Everyone's talking about, oh, well, Eddie Hearn's going to do this with the zone. And I said, look, I don't care who runs boxing. Y'all Y'all worried about taking Al Heyman out of business. Y'all worried about, I want to know who's going to give me the best product. I don't care who runs boxing. I don't care who has the best roster. Give me the fights I want, and I will gladly pay for it. And now we have Jake Paul on the scene. And now we have Turkey Alashik on the scene. And somehow, some way, Dana White's gonna get into boxing. And all I'm saying is, sometime or another, your favorite fighter that you've been protecting, they're gonna have to be in the ring with their contemporary because they ain't gonna be anywhere else to go. Because we're not paying for trash. You understand? You might not like this main event, but it's a reality and that's your fault. Because everything else on the undercard was satisfactory, but I, I'll save that for my live stream. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Bronx on deck. Move!